I love farming because it connects me to the land. I talk to my plants. My favorite part is caring for them, watering them, knowing their patterns of growth, and watching them from seed to the food that gets on the lodge kitchen table. I was a high school art teacher. I came in with no expectations for myself, couldn't keep my house plants alive, that whole cliche story. We had a community supported agriculture program and we would do local farmers markets. Getting to be there, tired as we were, when people came up and were just like overjoyed at the color and the vegetables and came back and told us that they haven't tasted a cantaloupe like that since they were little. And that meant the world to me and made me want to go back year after year so that we could do this as a living. I'll be up really early. I make sure my irrigation is working correctly. I fix anything with the greenhouse or my garden that's gone wrong or leaking. I'm building fences. I'm making sure wildlife is not eating all of my cared for vegetables. I'm gonna grow maybe 40 to 50 varieties of produce. So I have to stagger my plantings to make sure I have enough to harvest throughout the season. It's hard to stop for me digging in the dirt to work on spreadsheets, but I love that part too. Without a lot of produce being grown in backyards and small farms, it means that food gets to them from anywhere from 200 to 500 miles away. That is a, a big problem and it cannot always be avoided. So any small to medium farms that want to grow in a community that people can buy from, uh, just connects people to their food. It brings in jobs. It makes people feel like agriculture here is possible and important. The more that we can get young people involved and care about food and know that it will go away without us being smarter, I think there's great opportunity there. Sustainability means the ability to do what we're doing as well as we can into the future. We have to make it better, not just keep it the way that it is now. <laughs>